Good morning everyone and welcome back to the vlog. So today is the last day in Vegas for this trip and it is a pretty short one. Uh, flight is at three o'clock this afternoon and it is about 8.30 now. So check out at 11, uh, take the car back to the car rental place, hop on a flight back to England and it's all over. So the plan between now and then is breakfast run now. Um, I think I'm just gonna get a coffee to be honest. I'm not really feeling that hungry. I have about $70 in free play, which um, I'm gonna use up right now. Uh, see what we can get and then use that to uh, see what we can win. So there will be some slot action this morning. Not quite sure how much because I, I don't really have that much time left to be honest. There's things I need to do. So uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I mean, all in all, it's been a great trip, but I'll tell you all about uh, my feelings and what this trip's been like compared to other trips at the end of this vlog. So for now, uh, go get a coffee and then hopefully you should see some slot action coming up next. So for our free play, I've decided to play good old Jackpot Carnival. It seems to be pretty good this, uh, this trip, but the major is 777. I felt that was a sign. Anyway, uh, we're gonna play it now. Uh, if we get anything, any bonuses, I will let you know. Uh, but if not, I'm gonna play through all 70 uh, and then we'll reconvene and we'll see what slots we're going to play. So we are still just in our free play. Uh, I just thought I'd show this one real quick. We got this all the way across, a uh, Jeffrey Carnival, and then we got the Mini at the end. The Mini is 20 because we're on two cents. Uh, honestly, I don't think we're gonna get much more with our free play. We've played about pretty much all of it, to be honest. And this is literally the only hit we've got, unfortunately. So. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens now. 25.50, alright. So that is indeed it. From our 70, it was $75, $75 free play, we made 36. Well, it could be worse. Let's take that 36, uh, go on something else and see what we can win. So sadly no bonus yet. Uh, the free play that we won, we have now gone through and we're back to our original 100 that we put in uh, to get our free play. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little bit here. What I want to know is at the end, why does that go douche? Is there an opportunity for Mr. Wolf to blow another buzzsaw on like he does with the hats? I don't know. I find it really, really weird that it makes the bonus symbol sound on the very last one. Very strange. You have to let me know. Um, it's not looking good, I think. Yeah. I've just got a bad feeling about this anyway. Uh, but if we do get anything, I'll let you know. Literally, next spin, I get this. <laughs> I just think, I've tur just turned my camera off and I get this. Uh, $81 in total. I'd, I'd say that's pretty good. So I'm going to count that as we've turned our free play into whatever this is. 100 and... 77 so we've turned off replay of 75 and 77 i'm counting that i'm counting that as a win uh okay if we get anything else uh you'll see what next. so the curse of the 50 cent bonus is real <laughs> it's back uh so from that ticket you saw uh played it down to 688 and yeah that's all we've got on the 50 cent bonus <laughs> uh i am not hopeful for this uh, so effectively, uh, uh, it's still 100 in, and uh, obviously the free play we turned is 36. Bumped it up to 170. I just saw the major flash past. The major is 849. That's why it's that nice one. It's the highest of all of these. Um, but we aren't going to land the major. It'd be really good if we did. <laughs> but uh, I mean, feel free to land them all for the grand. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't say no. Oh dear. I mean, to be fair, for a 50 cent bonus, this is half respectable. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, at least give me, uh, at, least, at least give me a fighting chance of the grand. Come on. Oh, okay. Okay, come on. We've got to do this, all right. Is it going past? No. <laughs> No, all right, here we go. No, no grand today. So close, yet so far. I think this is the this is the first bonus today. 
And considering we're 100 in, that is only going to put us on about $15. <laughs> oh dear. Well, you live and learn. You got to try, haven't you? 11.50. I guess it could be worse. Right, so it's, uh, I think it's time to move on from the breakfast run now. There is a lot of stuff to do today. Um, so yeah, I will, I'll, I'll see you soon, short. So it's always a bit of a, how can you say, it, a bittersweet feeling leaving Vegas because you know you'll be back at some point. Well, I certainly will anyway. Um, but it's, it's, you just get so used to being here and waking up in Vegas, doing things, and it just feels like a different life. Um, so we're in the airport, waiting. This is the bit I don't like, having to wait for three hours before you can get on the plane to get back home. Um, but yeah, for me, it's been a good trip. I've enjoyed it. But what I am going to do now is, I think I'm gonna sit at one of these slots and uh, just have a little go. And if I do get anything, you'll see it. But uh, I, I've, I've been told that the airport slots are always much tighter than even the strip. Um, I have played the slots in the airport in the past and I have won a little bit, not, not like hundreds, maybe. <laughs> like 20 30 dollars a good couple of years ago um but it does always amuse me that you can play slots here in the airport even often even more oh, look. got the newest slots oh and bao zhu zhao for maybe i should play that one for old time's sake anyway uh if you don't see any slot action then i didn't get anything and the next thing you see might be a montage but uh We'll talk when I'm back in the UK uh, to sum up this whole vlog series. Well, I put uh, 40 in for old time's sake, and we have indeed hit a bonus at the airport. Ultra spins and extra spins. Oh, this is uh, great. It's only on 88 cents. <laughs> uh, I'm not expecting a lot from this, to be honest. Uh, I am trying to keep my voice down a little bit just to not draw too much attention to myself. <laughs> oh, what, what uh, a fun way to finish this vlog series, really. Getting a bonus at the airport. The uh, button doesn't seem to be working very well on this either. I keep having to kind of match it down quite hard. Uh, come on. Do you know what? The Mr. Bird hasn't been passed yet. What's he playing at? Come on. Hmm, I found that a bit suspicious. Where is he? He hasn't come past once and I can't... This button is awful. Come on, Mr. Bird, where are you? Here he is at last. Here he is. Oh, here he is again. I mean, like I said, I put 40 in, we're down to 1991. <laughs> So we're half our money down. If we can get uh, another 20, that'll be pretty good. I mean, it, it's looking okay. Mr. Bird comes constantly. We're all good. To be fair, it looks about $20 already. Can you imagine getting the ground in the airport though? <laughs> we just need two for, two for that. Go on, get me the ground in the airport. <laughs> Oh, that was not very good. Oh, no. All right, we got one chance left. Two dollars. All right, last one. This button is awful. No. Nope. And there we go. <laughs> oh, finish this vlog with a bonus at the airport. 
Uh, I can't complain too much. Nineteen fifty, so it takes us to our forty. It's it's not profit, but you know what? <laughs> it's something very unexpected. No, I can't press. Oh, there we go. Does it even give us one extra spin or oh, 3941? I think I'll just take the 3941. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll speak to you. Well, we've still not caught our flight just yet. <laughs> I'm happy and prosperous. I just uh, stuck 20 in, just doing 50 cents. It's like I say, it's the airport, it's a little bit of fun. <laughs> I'm not expecting miracles. Uh, but I, I set down this one because the major was 8.43 and on that one it's 6.28. So if we win the major that'd be very nice. I mean, fill it up for the ground if you want. <laughs> I know I've said that I don't know how many times on this trip, but uh, I'd love the ground. Alright, last one. Oh, no, got that one. Four more for the ground. Go on, do it. Just do it at the airport. What a great finish to the vlog this would be. <laughs> Come on. Oh, all right, two for the ground. That one in the middle keeps going past, doesn't it? Go on, land it. All right, last one now. And no. That is maybe about $10, 11 I for a minimum bet at an airport slot. I'm not going to complain at all. <laughs> That's not too bad. Oh, it's wet. What is that? 12, 13, 14. All right. So that takes me up to the 20 I actually originally put in here. So I'm 36 cents up on this. Wow. <laughs> all right. If I do get anything else, I'll let you know. So what a great trip that was overall. It was just absolutely fantastic. All 11 nights. There were some ups, there were some downs, there were some big downs, but there were some big ups as well. And over the course of the last um, 11 vlogs, there's been so many people who've commented and subscribed to, to me. And I, I'm thinking, wow, thank you so much. It's just unfathomable how so many people want to share in the journey that I've had over the last 11 nights. Uh, I've been back in the UK a few days now, uh, and as you can see, I've I've had a shave, uh, but it's grown back a little bit more since. I don't tend to take my razor on uh, any trips that I go on, uh, usually because I'm not there long enough for the beard to get irritating and I need to shave it off. I think there was one trip that I, I did because I was there for about three weeks, but that was a long time ago. Um, so over the course of the 11 vlogs, you would have seen my beard grow more and more and more. Uh, gambling on the whole trip was crazy, for, at least for my standards anyway, because I've never had a hand pay so early in the trip. They've always been more towards the end. So usually when I change my money back, it's the hand pay money that gets changed back into uh, British pounds. But obviously this time, because we got it on the second day, uh, it just gave us more money to play with, you know, throughout the entire trip. Uh, maybe that's a bad thing in some ways, simply because it gives us more money than we think that we, we really have. Because the money that you should be using for gambling, you now have multiplied several times. And you think, oh, I'm gonna, just going to drop an extra hundred in here, drop an extra hundred in there, an extra hundred in there. And by the time you do that, you've lost all of your hand pay winnings, which is indeed what happened to me. So it's a lesson learned. Don't do that. <laughs> Um, but overall, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the trip. I do enjoy going in August time. It's not the hottest month in Vegas. July is the hottest month. Um, but so saying that, it's still, you know, 110 degrees or, you know, 43, 42, 43, 44 degrees, which is still hot. And people always say, oh, it's a desert heat. It's dry. Well, do you know what? It is actually true. If you would think maybe could you imagine 
40 degree heat in the UK. We've had it once um, a couple of years ago and that was unbearable. But 40 degree heat in Vegas just feels normal. It feels right, it, you know. Maybe it's because it's air conditioned everywhere. Maybe because, you know, you can get in the car, you can just go for a drive for half an hour and you're air conditioned so the heat doesn't get you quite as bad. But I certainly wouldn't walk up and down the strip um, in the 110 degree heat. Um, for me as a vlogger, uh, I've absolutely enjoyed doing this first vlog series and I absolutely will do another one. I'm not sure when I'm going to go next. Um, it won't be too long, I don't think, because I tend to go Vegas every couple of months. So you could probably expect vlogs every time, so every couple of months uh, from here on in. But I know my skills uh, of being an editor, of doing this vlog, aren't that great. You know, it is my first one. Uh, for me, I look up to other vloggers that I watch. Um, I, I, I did mention him in the series, Matt Bridger. I think he's like the, the creme de la creme of British vloggers. So he's the one that, you know, you try to aspire to. Uh, there are others um, out there. I watch Gaz Dunn Vlogs, uh, John Roger, Vegas Baby, Pennies for Vegas. Uh, obviously, he's Canadian, but you get my point. These vloggers are better than me, but it, it's nice to actually do my own style rather than, you know, try and directly be like these people, because I'm nothing like any of these people. I'm worse than these people as far as I'm concerned, but I, I enjoy doing what I do. The hotels that we stayed in um, for the trip, Cosmo was a bit disappointing. I was expecting a little bit more from Cosmo. Um, the room itself was just not up to the standards that I remember from years ago. I first stayed in Cosmo 2015, I think, um, about five years after, well, not even five years after it opened. Uh, and it was really nice back then. It was, it was very nice indeed. The casino area and the restaurants and everything, they're, they're all good. They're still just as good as they were when it opened back in 2010. But the rooms, especially in the Chelsea Tower, seem to have just gone downhill. It's, it's a shame, really, because Cosmo is a nice hotel. I don't think it's necessarily because MGM took it over, but it is what it is. Uh, Planet Hollywood, the room I felt was a little bit better than Cosmo, you know, doing like for like. Um, the room I had at Planet Hollywood, again, was comped uh, through Caesars. Um, the view was really, really good, as you saw uh, in the vlogs. So it was really nice to watch the fountains every night with that view. Um, but Planet Hollywood as a hotel, is okay. I, I always feel that Caesar's properties are a bit low quality, but that's just me. M maybe some people do prefer Caesar's over MGM, but I do prefer MGM properties uh, over Caesar's. Uh, Bellagio that we stayed in at the end, I always have a fantastic stay at Bellagio. I can, there's just nothing to really complain about. I love staying at the Bellagio. It's always central. The casino is usually quite nice to me, um, but the rooms are always very nice. There was one incident, though, when I first got into the room. The maid just kind of barged in. I think they must have been cleaning the carpet or something just before I checked in and got to the room. And I don't think the maid was expecting anybody to be in, but, but I was. I, I just dismissed it as, you know, it is what it is. I, I didn't worry about it anyway, but that was all that really happened. Uh, the neighbours at Planet Hollywood, very, very loud uh, at 4 a.m., um, but, you know, it's Vegas. What, what do you expect? What do you expect? Uh, as for the other hotels that I didn't stay at, Luxor is very, very disappointing now. Like, just to the point where I have no feeling or emotion for it. I used to because um, Luxor is the very, very first hotel I stayed in back in 2012. So if, if you don't know, 2012 was the very first time I went to Vegas. And I've been back to Vegas, um, I still don't know how many times. A lot. Uh, so I always used to have a soft spot for Luxor. But overall, as a property, I think it's over. I genuinely think it's over. In the next decade or so, I think they'll start looking at getting rid of that property. Not necessarily Excalibur or Mandalay Bay, because Mandalay Bay as, as a hotel and property is still in good condition. It's still nice. It's still good. Excalibur, um, although the rooms are not exactly brilliant, 
Um, it still draws in a lot of families um, because Vegas is becoming much more family friendly. And you can genuinely see that whenever you go into Excalibur. Uh, the other properties, New York, New York. Um, I don't have much luck in New York, New York, if I'm honest. I like the rooms, but I don't have much luck. And Park MGM, where we got the hand pay, I like the casino in there more than most casinos. I think probably because it's smoke free. Uh, the rooms are left a little bit to be desired, but it don't really matter. Anyway, I'm going on about properties didn't even stay out. Um, Money-wise, you know, we came back with less than what uh, we left with, which is always the case. So overall, for the trip, I was $800 down. So if you take into account how much I lost at Luxor on the last day, uh, I'd probably be even. So if I hadn't have lost the 700, I would be even. <laughs> it's crazy to think that, isn't it? Damn you, Luxor. Damn you. Um, but it doesn't make me hate Vegas in any kind of way. I love Vegas, no matter how much I lose. There have been worse trips that I've had where I've lost everything. <laughs> but there's also been better trips where I've come back with more than what I've left with. And when whenever that happens, you instantly go online and book another trip with your winnings. Best thing to do. But yeah, being uh, less than $1,000 down after everything, I'd say is pretty good. Uh, that does include all expenses, you know, like the the food, drinks and everything. Uh, that's that's after that. So in some ways, it's, it's a good win. So I'm going to finish this vlog now by saying, once again, I, I truly appreciate everybody that has come to watch me stuck with me through the entire series, has enjoyed my journey as much as I've enjoyed it. Um, there will be more vlog series just based on the success of this one. Um, if you want to leave any questions or you've got any comments or suggestions to make me better or things I shouldn't do in the vlog series, uh, let me know because I'm always <clears throat> looking to evolve, <clears throat> change, you know, make it better, make it more viewable so the viewers actually want to come and watch more of you want to come and watch um but i will be doing a 13th part <clears throat> lucky or unlucky for some i guess um a 13th part where i'll answer all the questions that have been asked because there's, there's been quite a few people have asked questions about things and i think it's only fair to kind of answer them and give you some more insight on what i'm going to do with this channel what i want to do with it um things that are going to come up in the future and tell you about my next trip which hopefully by the time I do that video um, the next trip should be booked and ready to go. Uh, one thing last thing I will say is yes I am Pearl on MGM no I'm not at any good tier on Caesars I don't tend to play Caesars that much um, so I am on the lowest tier but I am Pearl with MGM which is good for parking. Anyway uh, I've waffled on long enough um, once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the entire vlog series. And if you love Vegas just as much as I do, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, share it with whoever may want to see Vegas. And I'll see you in the next one.